Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm going to start with the puzzle for the 15th of January 2024 which is a Cupid Sudoku by Clover. But before I get on to the puzzle, because this is the first video in the series, I do want to do the solver shoutouts. Now these are the ones from the previous week because they came in after I started recording the video. So what we had was we had Spod who got their first single hat, we got Egg Fried Cheese who got their first single hat, we got uh, Diego Navarro, who got their first dino. Uh, we got the Waddler, who got their first double hat. And we got Jack Rambler, who got their first double hat. So congratulations on those milestones. I think the, the Solver shoutouts are absolutely awesome. And I think... I just love that people are celebrating their achievements with the puzzles. So... Um, as I said, this is for the puzzle for the 15th of January 2024. Um, I'm recording it well after that, but that's why I release them five at a time. Um, here's the message that came with it. Romance is in the air. The romance, that is, between your humble Sudoku setter, me, and my very favourite symbol in Penpa, the fat grey arrow. What um, is that arrow good for, you might ask? Well, solve this puzzle and the next three or four I might have coming up and find out. Um, now, the next bit is the rules. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a blushing Berberosaurus. Okay, so let's have a look at the puzzle to figure out the rules. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. First puzzle in the video, so that means that in every box, in in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Now, we do have these big fat arrows and the digit in, a, in an arrow cell must appear at least once more in the direction that the arrow is pointing, not necessarily in the immediate adjacent cell. So what that means is whatever digit goes in that cell must be pointed to by the digit in that cell. So whatever goes here must be in one of those two cells is basically what it's saying. Um, for instance, because there is a one arrow at row four, column one, there must be a one in either row three, column two, row three, column two, or row one, column four, or both. Right, because this one is saying that there is a one being pointed to, but that cell already has a digit. But basically it's saying because there's a one here, there must be a one on the diagonal that's being pointed to. That's what it's saying. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot and let's start with that clue because it's saying that there's a one in one of those. There's already a one in that box and that's a two. So this is a one. Now this digit is pointing at one of those, but it can't be a one pointing at one of those two. So this is a two. Can I do the same here? Yes. This one says there's a one in one of those. That can't be a one because there's one in the box. This is the one. This can't be a one pointing at one of those two. So it's a three pointing at that. There is a one in one of those, but there can't be a one here. So this is the one. This is can't be a one pointing at one of those, so this is a five. There is a one in one of those, but that can't be a one, that can't be a one, so this is the one. This can't be pointing at a one because there's a one in the box, so this is a four. This is either a one or a six because it's pointing at a one six pair, but it can't be a one, so it's a six. This is a one or an eight, so it's an eight because it can't be a one. This is a one or a nine, but it can't be a one, so it's a nine. This is a one or a six, but it can't be a one, so it's a six. This is, I'm not sure. Uh, have I done all of those? Yes. So now let's do some Sudoku, maybe. Who wants to do Sudoku? Me, me, I want to do Sudoku. This is a two, which means that there's a two in one of those two. Um, and that was just by Sudoku. Uh, what other Sudoku do I have? Six, six. No, I've got sixes. Eight, eight. This is an eight by Sudoku. Um, 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 this is a five by Sudoku. So there's a five in one of those two. Um, 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 if I was better at scanning, the threes looking down mean this is a three by Sudoku. So there's a three in one of those two and the fours looking up saying that's a four by Sudoku. So there's a four in one of those two. And I think now I'm just down to Sudoku. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, and eight. Well, there's no seven there. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, seven, and nine. Well, there's no nine there. Hmm. This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no eight there. There's no six there. That's the five. So this is a six, eight pair. And this is the eight and this is the six because of the six that was there. So this is the five, which means that's not the five. This is the five. Now, this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, seven, and nine. There's no nine in either of those, so that's the nine. 
the three seven looks over making that the four taking four out of those this is a triple one two three four five six and eight there's no six in either of those that's the six the eight looks across making that the five and that the eight this is now a single digit one two three four five six seven eight. yep that's a five so this is the four one two three four five three and seven not sure the eight looks down making that the two which takes two out of those so seven is in one of those three by x-wing but eh, one two three four five six four seven and nine there's no nine in any of those so that's the nine this triple one two three four two three seven so two uh, that's a two three seven triple so two is in one of those and not there and this is now known one two three four five six seven eight nine this is a six but two is in one of those can i take that any further maybe what's this column one two three four five six three seven and nine so these are three seven and nine so that means there's a two in one of those these are two three seven as well i'm looking in the wrong place oh that digit it's not a two that's the two so this is actually known one two three this is just a four and these are one two three four five six five and eight and i know the order because there's already a five in row six that's the eight that's the five the two takes the two out of there, making that the two. The three looks across, making that the seven, which makes that the three and that the seven. Taking seven out of those, that's two, three, that's the seven. Seven, of course, comes out of those for multiple reasons. The seven looks back, making that the nine and that the seven. Taking seven out of both of those, so that's the seven. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no four or six there, that's the five. Uh, not sure how to resolve that yet. So these are two, three, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, two, three, and nine must contain a two. There's no nine there. Except I can't put three in either of those. Where is three in this column? Because of this three, three is in those two. So it's not there. So three in this column is here. So this is the two. This is the nine. This is the three. This is the nine. That's cool. So this column is missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the nine. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not the three. Now this is a two, three, four. So that's the seven, that's the four, which means that's not the four. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one and eight, so seven and eight. The seven looks up making that three and seven. The two and the three look down making that the four, that the two, that the three. The four looks up making that the six and that the four. And the two looks across making that the three and that the two. Five minutes, 51 seconds. Okay, and the two dinosaur, uh, the two hat time was seven minutes. So I did okay on that one, cool. Um, that was a fun puzzle. I do like arrow pointing puzzles, whether they're search nine or something like this. I really do like puzzles that are like, digits have to be over there somewhere. Um, I, I do like a constraint like that. So yes, I'm a big fan. And if more of these are coming, I'm going to be very happy. Um, but we'll see what comes. So this is today's puzzle. Let's see tomorrow. What is tomorrow's puzzle? And now the puzzle for the 16th of January, 2024, which is called Heads Gone West by Bill Murphy. Here's the message that came with it. Hey you, yes, you. Do you like puzzles? If yes, continue reading. If not, go to google.com and search for hobbies. Something like that um, there will probably take your fancy. I've heard the teens like extreme ironing, chess boxing, Swedish death cleaning, and fun. Uh, a couple of the yearly puzzle competitions are coming soon with IB of R1 of the, <laughs> wow, of the World uh, WPF Sudoku Grand Prix coming Friday and R1 of the Su uh, Sudoku Mahabharat coming in three weeks. And I'm on a bound to tell you that they're open to everyone, not just speed solvers. We tend to do funky things from the IB of the WSC as they come, so look forward to <laughs> 
<laughs> Look out for us to do weird things soon. Some explanation of that. So the World Puddle Feder Puzzle Federation Sudoku Grand Prix, they um, hold events on the World Puzzle Federation webpage. I'm assuming there'll be there were no links provided with the message. I'm assuming over on the CTC Fan Discord, there will be links in the Sudoku discussion about how all of that works. I would I've been trying to figure out how to do some puzzles from there, particularly ones from like 10 years ago on the channel. There's some beautiful puzzles from back there. Um, yeah, really, really good puzzles. And after the events, they're released for free as packs. So really, really good to look at. But as much as the weird ones are unique, it's always good to practice the basics. Um, so today's guess is a region sum line Sudoku. Probably, because region and equal sum lines are the same unless lines re-enter boxes, and I haven't looked to see if that happens here. Uh, then the rules happen, um, and if you get a dinosaur, you get a competitive uh, Cairo Stenotes. Cairo Stenotes? Cryo Stenotes? I don't know. Anyway, here is the puzzle... I'm assuming that this is one line and this is a different. Often I see set as recolor so that you can be 100% sure. You wouldn't do a line that did sort of that this way. So this is one line, this is another. Um, and yes, no line re-enters, so it's all good. So the way the rules on this one work is um, clues along lines sum to the same total in each box it enters. And the example given is row one, column two, and row two, column three, those two cells, equal row three, column four, equal row four, column five. Because this is the, this line in this box is this cell, in this box is this cell, and in this box is these two cells. So those are... Those two have to have the same sum as that, have to have the same sum as that. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. This is the same sum as that, so that's five. These have to sum to five, so they're from one, two, three, four. This can't be three, so this can't be two. Now, this is a three, so this is a three. So there's no three in this at all. So this is one, four. Uh, this is a six, so this is a six. This is a four, so this is a four. This has to sum to four, so they are one and three. This is the one, this is the three. This is a five, so this is a five. Five is now here by Sudoku. Three is in one of those by Sudoku. Not sure that's what I want to look at. This is a two, so this is a two. This is a six, so this is a six. These have to sum to six without using two, so they're one and five. But this five here makes this the one and this the five. Sudoku is going to get tricky at any point now. This is a five by Sudoku. Um, now, this box, not sure. Four is in one of those two by Sudoku. Oh, the one looks up making that the four and that the one. So this isn't the four, that's the four. Now, uh, this is a seven by Sudoku. These have to sum to seven. They, If they're one, six, it's one and six. Can't be two, five. If it's three, four, it's three and four. Okay. So this is a minimum of one, two. So this has to be at least three. I don't know. Seven is in one of those two. Four, 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 six, six, six is in one of those two. Five, 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 five is in one of those two. Not sure which digit to look at. One, two, that's a quadruple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, seven, eight. Well, there's no four there. There's no five or seven there. There's no eight there or five. This is four or seven. Now, if this is four, this is one, three, but I think it could be. If this is this can't be four because this would have to be one three. If it's five, this would have to be one four or two three, and it can't be. So this is seven or eight. So this is a four seven eight triple, and that is the five. Okay. Is this prevented from being an eight? It can't be one seven. It can't be two, six. It can't be three, five. This actually can't be an eight. This is the four and this is the one, three. That's actually backwards from the way you would expect to look at that. This is the eight. This can be one, seven. It can't be two, six and it can't be three, five. This is one, seven. And the one tells us the order. This is one, seven. That's really cool. I like that a lot. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, two, eight and nine. 
which is remarkably unhelpful. One is in one of those two now, because of ones looking over and up. Oh, this is a one three pair, because threes are looking over and up. So what are these? These are one, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight, and nine. Two, eight, and nine. Well, there's no two in any of those. That's the two. So what can that be? Let's look at this quadruple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, six, eight, nine. Well, there's no eight in either of those. This can't be a six. And if this is a three, this is a one, two, which I think it could be. There's no three here. Three is in one of those two. Ah, this is a six by Sudoku, so there's no six there. What is this triple? One, two, three, four, five, two, five, seven. There's no five in either of those. That's the five. The two seven looks down, taking two out of there. So this is three, eight, nine. So it's three, nine. What have I missed? Why can't, this could be one, two. This would be three and these would be eight, nine. If it's nine, it could be one, eight, couldn't be two, seven, three, six, or four, five. So there is a one on this because if it's three, it's one, two. And if it's nine, it's one, eight. So this is the three, this is the one. That's actually kind of insane. So now one is definitely on this line and it's not there. This is the one, this is the three. So what can this be? It can't be two, three, it can't be three, it could be four, it can't be four, five, it can't be five, six, it can't be six, seven, it can't be seven, eight. This is eight and nine, which means this is three with one, two, which means this isn't the two, this is the two. That's absolutely insane. This is one, so this is six. There's no three or six here, this is the nine. The one here, of course, makes that the two and that the one. There's no nine in either of those. This is actually the eight because there's a three in the row. This is the six. The eight makes this the nine and this the eight. The nine looks down making this the three, which makes this the one and this the three. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, seven. There's no seven there. Hmm. This triple. One, two. Two, three, four, five, two, four, seven there. There's no two in either of those. So that's the two. The four, seven, I'm not seeing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four and nine go into these. So this is nine, this is four. One, two, three, four, five, six goes into there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine. And the eight looks down, making that the nine and that the eight. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, and seven go into those. And there's a two there. So that's the seven, that's the two, taking two out of there. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go into those two. And there's an eight, nine looking up. So that's the seven, that's the eight, that is not the seven. These are two, four, and nine. So two, four, nine. There's, a, there's no four in either of those. So two, nine, four, which means seven and two. The seven makes that the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's the seven, which means that's the four, that's the seven. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six and eight, which I can resolve from there's already a six in row five. So eight and six, not six. One, two, three, four, five, three and nine. There's already a nine, so three, nine, which means eight and nine. That is the correct solution in seven minutes and 24 seconds. I <laughs> I made the two hat time with explana explaining what I was doing by six seconds. I 
challenge anyone to do what I am doing and can, and I mean, I'm trying to explain, like I'm saying what digits, like what row and what digits and saying this four is eliminating and all of that sort of stuff, because I want people to be able to follow the logic I'm doing. And I think I'm still doing okay. I would prefer to get a one or hat time or even a dinosaur and have people able to follow my video rather than just go, that's a two, that's a blah, 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 blah. I just race putting digits in where people are going, I don't understand why you did that. So I'm always going to try and be slower and more explaining. But that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. That was a really good intro to region sums and really good for practicing. So thank you, Bill. That was great. Um, see you for tomorrow's puzzle. Okay, and now the puzzle for the 17th of January 2024 called Mighty Crop by Philip Newman which is a mighty, because we've had a mighty crop of puzzles. We'll see what he says in the message. Those of you who have been with us for a while probably remember all the intros we did talking about Tears of the Kingdom. Those of you who haven't, we did a lot of intros talking about Tears of the Kingdom. This morning, I was watching an explanation of Tears of the King, of the of a Tears of the Kingdom speedrun, and there was an example given of how using Amiibo to get a bunch of fish could be useful, to which Zoe responded, that's a lot of mighty crap. Was it supposed to be Mighty Carp? Today's guess is a Kropke Pears Sudoku. Um, so if you get a dinosaur, the rules, and which I'll go over when I'm looking at the puzzle, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a mistaken micro microcalus. I don't know dinosaur names. So rules. So normal Sudoku rules. Cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive, have a difference of one. Cells separated by a black dot must be have a ratio of two to one, which means one must be double the other. No negative constraint. Other pairs of digits may have a difference of one. So this would be fine to have a virtual white dot between it, or these have a difference of one, or be in a ratio of two to one. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, um, the only digit you, I'm going to explain. We know that these are two and four, and these are one and eight because of the one one doubling to two, two doubling to four, three doubling to six, four doubling to eight, and then you're done. Um, this is the one. This is the two. This is the four. This is the eight. I can do the same down here. This is the one. This is the two. This is the four. This is the eight because the one sees that end, and this has to be the run. This now is the four because, and these are two and eight. This now is the two, and these are one and four. Um, this is a three, six, three, three, six. Um, and this is a six and a three. Um, and that's just forced because of these. I probably should explain, but hopefully people know why. Um, one is in one of those. I'm not sure. So this is a run of three digits. I can't put a one in it. Can't be two, three, four. Could be three, four, five. Can't be four, five, six. So this is three, four, five with a four in the middle or seven, eight, nine with an eight in the middle. That's interesting. Where is nine in this row? It's in one of those two. Hmm. So if this is, this can be one, two, three, putting a two here. And it'd be one, two, three. It can't be three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Actually, this has to be one, two, three. Because it can't if it can't be three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. So this is one, two, and three. Which means this is the eight, this is the two. What are these? They're one, five, seven, nine. There's no, all right, there's no nine in there. I should have done that earlier. These are one, five, and seven. This, well, there's one and a seven. So this is the five. This is a one, seven. This is the seven. This is the one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, which puts a six in one of those two. This is a six, and it'd have to go down. Six, five, four, three. That could work. Now, if this is two, three, four, five could work. Three, four, five, six could work, or four, five, six, seven. If this is two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on. I can't put a two on this because I can't put a two there. And if I put a two there, that's a three. There's no two on there. So this is a two. 
So if it's three, four, five, six, it's three, four, five, six. So three, four, five, six. If it's four, five, six, seven, it's four, five, six, and it can't be four, five, six, seven. This is three, four, five, six. Wow, this is the seven. This is absolutely crazy. This is five, eight, and nine. There's no eight there. So eight is in one of those two. I don't think that's it. These, well, there's a one right here. And these are six, seven, and nine. This is a five or a nine. This triple probably matters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Now, if this is nine, this would be eight. So that's not going to work. If this is seven, I couldn't go up. So it'd be seven, six, five, four. Seven, six, five, four. And if it's three, I couldn't go down. I'd run out of digits. So three, four, five. This is five either way, and it can't be four. So this is seven, six, five, four. There's no seven or six here. This is the nine, taking nine out of those. The six, seven, of course, takes the seven out of there. This is three, five, nine. And it's not five or nine. This is the three. This is the nine. This is the five. This is the nine. I take nine out of those. That's a five, eight. The seven and the nine look up, making that the three. These are one, seven, and nine. Now, this run of digits. If this is four, these... I probably should have looked at this earlier. If this is four, these are three and five in this order, three and five. If it's eight, there's seven and nine, and I can't put seven in either of them. This is four, this is three, this is five. The four means this is the one and this is the four. There's no one here anymore. These are seven, eight, nine. This is the eight, this is a seven, nine. Puts eight in one of those two. I could have used parity at some point. Like, what's the even digit that goes on this? It's not two, eight, or four. So this is from five, six, seven. There's no six there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is five, seven, or nine, and it's not seven. So this is a five or a nine. This is six, seven, or eight. There's no six or seven there. That's the eight. This is a five, six, seven triple. So this is the nine. This is the four. The nine looks up making that the seven, which makes that the nine, taking nine out of those. What's the even digit on this? It's not two or four, so it's six or eight. If it's six, it's there, and this would be seven. So six and seven is possible. If it's eight, I could put eight in either of them, but again, it'd be seven, eight, or eight, nine. No, I can't do eight, nine. So this is always a seven. So this is the one, this is the seven. This is very strange. I like it a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, eight. There's no three there. There's no two or eight there. That's the three. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and nine. So these are two, six, and eight. There's no six there. Oh, there's no eight in the top row. Two, six, eight. The six makes this the three and this the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no five there. This has to be, even, uh, this five, seven means this is the six. This is the seven. This is the five. The six makes that the seven and that the six. The five makes that the eight and that the five. And that eight makes that the two and that the eight. Seven minutes and three seconds. Oh, I made the two hat time. It was eight minutes. Okay, cool. I made it by 57 seconds while explaining, I think. I didn't explain this stuff at the start. And the reason, basically, there's a thing with black dots, which is one can double to two, two can double to four, four can double to eight. And they're the only things where you can have a run of three digits that see each other because the only other pairing is three doubling to six and they can only pair with each other. Five, seven, and nine can never pair with anything. Um, and that is the one digit has to be low, one digit has to be even. 
because when one doubles to two, two doubles to four, three doubles to six, four doubles to eight, you are always taking a low digit and doubling it to the even digit that is the double of it. You can never continue that sequence because five doubling to 10 is broken. Very, very cool. I like the puzzle and the, the way that the, the dot sequences, one, two, three, uh, one, one dot, two dots, three dots, one dot, two dot, three dot, one dot, two dot, three dot, one dot, two dot, three dot, and then just putting givens in symmet moderately, yeah, symmetrically to make it work. Very, very cool. That was a beautiful puzzle. This is the sort of elegance that I just love out of these puzzles. Thank you, Philip, for the puzzle, um, and I'll see you with tomorrow's puzzle. Another puzzle for the 18th of January 2024, which is an elimination Sudoku by Clover. Uh, the message that came with it. Here's today's guess. We're still celebrating the mighty fat grey arrow in Penpa with an elimination Sudoku. An aside, um, it's unfortunate for me that, and this is why I don't solve a lot of pencil puzzles and stuff like that. When I first got into this hobby, um, I had a problem with Penpa. It just kept resetting. Like every so often, it would the grid would just reset. Back to the start, timer would reset, everything would go back to fresh. And I reached out to the community and basically said, what's going on? And it turns out, I'm I, at the time I was running visual assistance software because um, I didn't have the huge screen I have now. And I needed it because I have visual problems. And the response from the person who was making Penpa was, yeah, turn that off. You, you can't use visual assistance software while running Penpa. So basically his response was, don't have a visual disability if you want to have my software use my software. So it's like, don't be disabled. I can't turn off my disability. So I stopped using Penpa and I've never gone back. I, it, it, it still has problems for a lot of devices. So yeah, I, I've never tried anything that requires Penpa because it just, I was told, do not be disabled. If you're disabled, don't use my software. And I just hated that. Anyway, back to the message. Um, oh, it's dead into the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply, blah, blah, blah. And then if you get a dinosaur, you get a bench warming, uh, Buzz Baldia. Okay, so the rules. Let's have a look at the puzzle to look at the rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. If a digit appears in a cell with an arrow, then that digit does not appear in any of the cells in the direction that the arrow is pointing. So for example, uh, whatever digit goes in row three, column four, which would be that one, can't be repeated in those cells. So whatever is there cannot go into any of those cells. Okay, no idea how this one's going to work. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Well, I can see I cannot put a six on this diagonal. I can't put a nine on that, another nine on that diagonal, but I'm not sure how that's helping me. So six is in there. Six is in one of those three. Nine can't go there or nine is in one of, oh, hang on. Nine is in one of those two. Okay, so what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I can't put five, six, and seven in in those because I can't repeat them. So this is a five and a seven, which means seven is in one of those two because I can't put five or seven there. What are these three actually? These are one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, and eight. But if this was a one or a two, I'd have broken the rule. So this is the eight. And this, well, these three are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. This can't be the eight or it'd have broken the rule and it can't be seven. This is the nine. These are seven and eight. So I can't put seven and eight in there. So these are seven and eight, which means that's not the seven. These are one, two, three, four, six. And I can't put three and four there because then I'd have broken the rule. That's the six. Oh, and Sudoku, that's four, that's three. The five looks down saying that's not the five. Six looks down saying that's not the six. The five looks across saying that's the seven and that's the five. Um, the seven looks back saying that's the eight and that's the seven. Okay. One is in one of those two... Six is in one of those two. If six is here, six is here. Now nine is in one of those two. 
There's probably a weird relationship between these sixes and these nines and these three cells, but I'm not quite seeing it. Two is in one of those two. One is in one of those two. What's this triple? Oh no, this isn't the six. This is a six nine pair. So the six and, the, and, and I know the order. This is the six, this is the nine. So I can't put a nine there, that's the nine which means nine is in one of those two. This is a two, this is a one, this is a two. These are triples now. One, two, three, five, seven. So there's no three there, there's no five there. There's no three there, that's the three. So this is, uh, this would be six, seven, eight for the column, but there's a six and a seven. So this is an eight, this is a seven, this is an eight. This is a six, five, seven, which means this is five and seven. These are one and four. Okay, this is very strange. I like it a lot. So that puts two in one of those two. Now, I can't put seven or eight on those. So seven isn't in any of those cells. So seven is in one of those two. What about eight? Eight's not there or there or there. It doesn't seem to be it. What about, no, it's not a quadruple. This is a quadruple though. These are one, four, five, seven. Now there's no one here, there's no five here. This can't be four or seven. So that's the five, and it takes five out of those. So that puts five in one of those two. There's no seven there. I'm definitely missing it. So it's naked singles. Like this can't be one, two. It can be three, four. It can't be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So this is three or four. This one could be one. It can't be two. It could be three. Can't be four. Oh man, this could be five. Can't be six, can't be seven, can't be eight, can't be nine. So this is one, three, or five. So I think it's naked single issue. This one can't be one, two, could be three, can't be four, five, could be six. So this is only three or six. This is not feeling like the way to do it, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight, and it's not seven. That's an eight which means eight is up here. It's not in there. Eight is in one of those two, it's not there. This is an eight, which puts eight across in one of these two, and it's not on the arrow now. That's the eight. So now I can chase eights, which puts eight here, and I think that's all the eights. So this one can't be one, can't be two, can be three, can't be four, can't be five, can be six, can't be seven, can't be eight, can't be nine. So these have to be different. Now that's interesting, maybe. Those have to be different, which means this can't be a three because one of those has to be a three. Now these, this can't be three or six. So it one, can't be one, two, can't be three, can't be four, could be five, can't be six, can't be seven, can't be eight, can't be nine. This is a five, which means this is a one. Now that took the place of a five. Yeah, I have, now this is a five. It puts five right here. I'm doing this slowly, I know. So this column is missing one, three, four, and six. So one, three, four, six, one, four, so this is not a four, this is a three, six pair. 
Okay, can't be one, can't be two, can't be three. The scanning is terrible. Could be four, can't be five, can't be six, can't be seven, can't be eight, can't be nine. This is the four. So this is the one, this is the seven, this is not the seven. The four looks down, making that the three, which makes that the six, that the three, which makes that the six. The seven makes that the four. Okay, so this pair, oh, the one looks down, making that the four. So let's do this pair, which is one, two, three, four, five, one and seven. So this is the one, this is the seven, this triple. One, two, four six there's no four in those so that's the four the two six is resolved two and six one two three four five six seven and nine which is absolutely resolved uh one we've got two two three four five six seven eight two three and nine there's no nine in either this is the nine basically this is a two three i'm stumbling over my fingers um, and I'm not sure how to resolve that, but let's look here. This is a two or a three and it can't be a three. So this is the two, this is the three, this is the two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight minutes, 37. Now I was exploring something new there. I missed it by one minute and 37, but I was exploring something incredibly new to me there. I really enjoyed it. I don't think I was ever going to get, I mean, depending on what the two hat time was. If you'd explored the logic of this before, I think seven minutes is something that you could probably pull off, but yeah. While trying to explain, definitely while trying to explain, okay, so what this means, but you know, like, uh, looking for the naked singles and then turning around and saying, okay, because these have to be different, it means, yeah. While explaining, I don't know. I just don't like times. I mean, I keep saying it and it keeps being true. But it was a good puzzle. I really enjoyed the puzzle. Again, my enjoyment was diminished by trying to meet a, a, a constraint that meant that I was chasing something that I think is arbitrary and unfun. But the puzzle was fun. See you tomorrow. Okay, and now we're finishing off this video with the puzzle for the 19th of January 2024, and this is Skyscrapers by Bill Murphy, and it came with the following message. Hi, it's 3.30 in the morning in Victoria, and I'm heading out to the Yarra Valley to get into a hot air balloon as my lovely girlfriend has decided to spoil me over every days for my birthday this year. Happy birthday, Bill. Um, yeah, that's a beautiful place to go hot air ballooning. My father, who passed away about a year ago now, was actually an Australian championship uh, hot air balloonist back in the 80s. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so between that, Walker posting a skyscraper puzzle for Gap and Philip has already recorded the video for this one. No better time for this deeply silly skyscraper Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. It's under the rules. Uh, re hat times today. There's no way to correctly hat this one, so I'll err on the side of generous. You'll probably see some very quick times today. Complete the uh, times. If you get a dinosaur, you get an ascending alwakiria. So, uh, the rules on this one are a little bit weird. So, if you don't know Skyscraper, this could be quite tricky. Um, I expect to get make mistakes on this one. I always make mistakes on Skyscraper, though I think I've seen this trick before. So, it's normal Sudoku rules, but consider each digit in the grid as a building of that height. So, let's use this row as an example. So, if we were to put digits in here, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If we were looking from this direction, what buildings would you see? Well, you would see the four, the five, you wouldn't see the one, two, three, you would see the seven, the six would be hidden behind the seven, and you would see the eight, nine. So you'd see one, two, three, four, five buildings, and the clue in this on this side of the grid would be a five. From this direction, you would see the nine-story tall building, and all all of these ones would be invisible because they're shorter than the nine story tall building. So the clue here would be a one. That's how Skyscraper works for all of the clues outside the grid. Now we're working in columns here. I just used the row as an example, but that's how the columns are going to work. So um, 
basically, and the way they've phrased it is, consider each b digit in the grid as a building of that height. Clues outside the grid give the number of buildings that can be seen from that direction with larger buildings, high and even smaller ones. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Well, this has to see nine buildings. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This can only see one building. If I don't put a nine here, it's going to see the nine beyond the, the digit, the building. Now, this can only see two buildings, which means because... I think that has to be the nine because if actually that's not true, there's all sorts of tricks with skyscraper that I keep getting caught in, which is okay. Where do I put nine in this box? Cause I have to see more than these. And as soon as I see the nine, I end. So this is the nine. The nine has to be in one of these, but if I put a nine in these, I end seeing. So this is the nine and this has to be lower than nine. Right. Now, eight. Where do I put eight? If I put eight here, I could only see a maximum of one more, but I need to see six more. So this is the eight. If I put seven here, I could only see a maximum of two more, and this would have to be a five clue. So this is seven, and these are four, five, and six. Now, what I'm not sure about is the order, because if I don't do four, five, six, say I go four, six, Right, no, this has to be four, five, six, because I have to see six digits. And the only digits I could see past those, like the one, two, three are invisible. So this has to be four, five, six. So I can see seven, eight, nine in order, but I can't put seven, eight, nine down here. So this is seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three, but the order can be anything. Similarly down here, these are one, two, three. These are four, five, six, but I don't know anything about the order. Now, this is a minimum of two, but I have to see eight digits. So this has to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This becomes the one. There's no one there. Now, this has to see seven digits, but the minimum is three. I should have started here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the two and the one. This has to see... Um, I've done the six. I now have to see five digits, but the minimum here is five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three, and four. These are one, two, three, and four, and there's no one in those, so this is the one. This is two, three, four. That's not a four. This is two, three, four, so this is five, six, seven. There's no seven there. Now, this has to see, what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight but five, six, seven is down here. So this is the eight, this is the six. So this has to go seven, eight, nine to get four. These are one and two. This is the one. Now, this is one, two, three, and it's three because it's got one, two in the column. This is two, this is one. Takes one out of those, it takes two out of those. Now I've done all of the skyscraper clues now. So it's just down to Sudoku. So these are one, two, three, four. There's one, two, three. So that's the four, that's the three, that's the two, that's the one. There is a two here, and this is a five. The two means this is the three, this is the four. These are triples. One, two, three, four, five. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the six. The six takes means this is the five, this is the four. Take four out of there, take five out of there. The four takes four out of there and there. The five means that's the three, that's the two, that's the one. There's no two in those, there's no three in those. The eight means that's seven and that's eight. The seven looks back making that's six and that's seven. The six means that's five and that's six. The five means that's four and that's five. The four means that's three and that's four. And the three means that's two and that's three. Three minutes, 55. Now, to get the dinosaur time, I was given six minutes, 30. But if I didn't start with the right trick, but if I had, being this had to be one through nine, and then because I couldn't use one here, this had to be two through nine, and then because I couldn't use one or two here, this had to be three through nine, and then here I couldn't use one, two, or three, this had to be four through nine, and I could have done that through all of the things. I started kind of in the wrong way, but I still did okay. Yeah, nice way to end it out. And it's a nice introduction to the way that Skyscraper works. Um, so I've seen this trick used, I think it was done in rows rather than columns, um, but I have seen this trick 
I've pretty much seen this puzzle before, I'm sure. You will notice that these are in Tropic, 147258369, and they're also modular, 147258369. And I'm not sure if that's forced, because the puzzle I saw... I can't remember who said it. It wasn't a Bill Murphy puzzle. I'm pretty certain it was done in rows and it had exactly the same constraints. The clues on the left-hand side were both entropic and modular. And I think that's required for this puzzle to work. Um, and that's fine. I mean, ideas don't have to be unique to be interesting. Very, very cool puzzle. And yeah, I, I like this one a lot. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, and yeah, um, the next video I release is going to be a little bit late. Um, I'm going to be, uh, away at a medical thing, um, at the time I would normally be recording and I will definitely not be up for recording. So, um, there'll be some delay. Um, but yeah, um, thank you everyone. Please go check out the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku YouTube channel. Hopefully that's monetized now. We'll see. They might not have the watch hour. So go watch some of their videos. Um, go to their homepage and check out some of the other people who are recording gas videos and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.